When I walk by the statue of Father Dalzon, I imagine him saying to the students, live a life that matters, because he came to a similar conclusion when he was their age. And I'd say the most important thing that I got out of my assumption education is a desire to live a life that matters. 20 years removed from the French Revolution, which ravaged his native homeland, Emmanuel Dalzon was born into an aristocratic family from the south of France in 1810. With the wealth and social standing that still attached to his family, young Emmanuel had a variety of career options opening before him, but his guiding question became how he could best contribute to the renewal of French society. Parental disapproval prevented him from following his first youthful desire to pursue a military career and led him to Paris to study law. It was there, while acquiring a distaste for law, that he began to associate with some of the leading lights in the intellectual and social world of Paris. Prime among the topics at hand was the place of the church in French society and how the gospel might positively impact the rising political order. It was out of these spirited discussions that Dalzon found an answer to his question. The best way to help renew French society, he reasoned, was to become a priest, to sacrifice the world of country estates and inherited wealth for a life worthy of his noble ambitions. Dalzon's dream to establish a Catholic university was expressed at the young age of 24 in a letter to a friend where he wrote, for a long time, I've been thinking of a Catholic university. The dream went unrealized in his lifetime, but Assumption College, begun here in Worcester in 1904 by the religious community that Dalzon founded, is the fulfillment of his dream. The original campus was built in the north section of Worcester. For years, the student population consisted primarily of children of French-Canadian descent. In the early 1950s, a devastating tornado swept through the campus, which claimed the lives of several members of the religious community. With a generous donation of land, the college moved to its permanent home on Salisbury Street. Over the years, it has broadened its focus to include students from all backgrounds to prepare them for a range of careers and life pursuits. Dalzon says, with this great and magnificent work of education, we refashion the being of our students. And with these words, he really captures the essence of his view of education. At Assumption College, we don't simply transmit information, we deepen understanding, and we transform lives. And this is something I can see happen with my students. He was living at the same time as people like uh, Alexis Tocqueville and Friedrich Nietzsche, who were the early, earliest thinkers to see that something big was happening, major changes that were taking place that would have a huge effect on the uh, life of faith in the world. And uh, like Tocqueville and like Nietzsche, Delzon understood that uh, if the West were to lose its faith, it would be simply catastrophic. Uh, and uh, that fight that Delzon was fighting is uh, still underway. Father Dalzon recognized the higher purpose of education is grounded in moral formation based upon firm principles resting on a religious truth that ennobles us. For Dalzon, that truth is, finally, a person who comes to us in our need and before whom we stand, not in proud possession, but in humble service. It is a truth enshrined in the motto of the college, until Christ be formed in you. Assumption has been really perfect for me. The academic environment has been one that has encouraged me to pursue the truth through a wide range of ideas with an attitude that is both questioning and critical, yet also respectful and appreciative. This search has led me to realize that my academic and spiritual lives are not as separate as I thought they were. And I now have an understanding of how I can make a truly remarkable difference in today's society. It is in expanding our hearts that we do great things. Disciples of Christ need to enlarge their hearts more than ever. If we do not love, who will warm this poor human race that has become frozen under the chill of egoism? Unfortunately, no one wants to have a love as vast as the world. But by losing ourselves in the immensity of God, we could grow amazingly greater. 
Some say the world is evil. No doubt, there is much that turns it away from what is good. But I believe that the world is oblivious, ignorant of the truth. Therefore, we need to teach it and to do so in words that it can understand. The deepest desire of my heart is that the world needs to be penetrated with a Christian idea, otherwise it will fall apart. And the world will not receive this idea, but from individuals who will be taken up by it. As Assumption College faces the future, the educational vision of Father Dalzon will continue to animate us. Proud graduates attest, time and again, that they find themselves invested in the work of renewing communities to which they belong, and that Assumption awaken within them a desire to live a life that truly matters.